It can be hard for novice parrots owners to understand one day your parrot is a sweet, tame, happy member of your family. And the next, he or she is acting like a vicious little monster. The most common reason for these sorts of personality changes, is that your bird is going through a hormonal period due to the mating season. Some of the most common signs of hormonal behavior in birds are screaming, biting, territoriality, mating displays, and feather plucking. The better way to deal with it is to prevent natural states, of hormonal behavior as much as possible. Here are 5 tips for how to stop hormonal behavior in parrots. Decrease your parrot's exposure to light. As a rule, your bird requires at least 10 to 12 hours of complete darkness every night, to keep hormones in balance. You'll want to make sure the room your bird is in, can be completely dark and that your bird can't be disturbed. And if you cannot darken the room sufficiently, you will want to put a dark blanket or cover on the cage. Remove anything that can be construed as a nest box, or nesting materials. This might include any bird snugglers, boxes, or paper bags that your bird crawls into. Don't allow your bird to crawl around on the floor and hide under furniture. Change your parrot's diet. When your bird becomes hormonal, you'll want to avoid giving it starchy foods and even high-fat foods. These types of foods can send signals to the bird that it is the right time to start having babies. Many respected breeders also note that warm cooked foods may induce hormonal surges. When it comes to your hormonal parrot's diet, reduce starchy high-protein foods. Instead feed, wheat germ, hemp seed, lots of fresh uncooked vegetables, low-sugar antioxidant-rich fruits like blueberries. Pet your parrot properly. One of the best things you can do for your parrot is to limit your petting and cuddling. For most parrots, especially cockatoos and cockatiels, petting outside of a few areas is considered mating behavior, and will encourage hormone production or exacerbate sexual frustration. When your parrot is hormonal, it's often best to limit petting in general and instead focus on hands-off interactions. If you want to show your parrot the appropriate type of affection, you should only pet the head, neck, and feet. In the wild, only a mate will touch or preen outside of these areas. So you don't want to give your parrot the wrong signals. Parrot hormones are particularly sensitive to this, so you should do your best to be mindful of your companion's needs. Encouraging mate-like behavior can be frustrating to your parrot and damage your long-term relationship. Entertain your bird. When you give your parrot toys and activities that will distract it from its urges, you'll find that the behavior will likely subside. You'll want to provide your bird with activities that will encourage foraging, like putting bird-safe pesticide-free twigs, sticks, and leaves from safe plants in the cage. You can supply chunks of wood, newspaper, and phone books so that your bird can focus on chewing to release the built-up sexual energy. Flying is also a great way for your parrot to release that energy too.